Let's take a look at the IntelliSense feature in VS Code. You might have already noticed VS Code offers word completion. When VS Code knows possible completions, the IntelliSense suggestions will pop up as you type. Of course, you can always manually trigger it with control plus space. For languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, and JSON, VS Code goes the extra mile when it comes to IntelliSense. Let's take a look at some of the noteworthy ones. With HTML, although IntelliSense is not the precise word, we do have Emmet Preview. Emmet, which greatly improves your HTML and CSS workflow, comes out of the box with VS Code and the preview feature is really helpful. For example, I can type div.test ul.listItemGroup and then li times 4.listItem. And you can see straight away how the HTML is going to unfold. A div tag with a class test which contains an unordered list with class list item group, which in turn contains four list items with the class list item. So you can quickly verify your HTML before tabbing out. And when you tab out, you get the desired HTML. So the preview can help see if you have made any mistakes in your emmet expression. Next, let's take a look at CSS IntelliSense. I'm going to create a new class, test. And within the class, when I hit control plus space, you can see the CSS IntelliSense. VS Code provides a list of all the properties that can be specified. Let's pick a Flexbox property, align content. Now when I pick that, you can see it also provides me with a list of possible values for that particular property. And if that wasn't enough, it also gives a brief description about the particular value. If I select flex start, you can see that it says lines are packed towards the start of the flex container. Next, let's add a border property. Let's go with border, one pixel, solid, fire brick. And you can see that it gives you a quick preview of what the color looks like. You don't have to save your file and go to the browser to verify. Of course, in some situations, you really have to look at the browser, but this gives you a pretty good idea to begin your color selection. Next, let's take a look at a JSON file. And the perfect file would be package.json. In this JSON file, when I hover on the properties, you can see that it gives you a brief description of what that property is. Definitely helpful for a beginner to understand some of the generated code. Now as a beginner, I might also not know what are the different properties that I can add to the package JSON file. So all I have to do is on a new line, hit control and space and it gives me a list of all the possible properties. Author, badges, config, licenses, and so on. Let me select author and then hit enter. It creates an author property. Now what are the possible properties for the author object? Again, I can simply hit control plus space and it gives me the list of possible properties. Here, I can select name and add Vishwas. Another aspect I really like is when it comes to dependencies. When I hit control plus space or type in double quotes, it gives a list of the popular packages. And from the list, you can select one or you can type in your own package. VS Code also offers word completion on a package name. For example, I type in underscore, not completely, of course. It gives me a list of options and I can select underscore. Now for the version, again, I can simply hit control plus space and it gives you the option of choosing the current latest version, 
the most recent major version and also the most recent minor version. You can pick the one that you like. There are tons more useful IntelliSense features for a JSON file, but I'm just sticking to package JSON because it is something we use on a regular basis. Finally, when it comes to programming languages like JavaScript, TypeScript, C Sharp, and so on, we do have some pretty good features. The first one being when you hover on a symbol, you get some information about that symbol. For example, when I hover on submitted, you can see that it is a property of app component class and is of type boolean. Similarly, when I hover on the enroll method, you can see that it says enroll is a method of the enrollment service class, accepts a parameter user of type user and returns an observable of type any. So that is pretty useful. For the next feature, if we hold down the control key and then hover on a symbol, we get a peek as to where it is declared or defined. So control and then hover on submitted. It gives me a preview of where it is defined. Similarly, control and hover on enroll. It gives us a preview of the method itself. Now we can also, while holding control, click on the symbol and it takes you right to the definition. So control and click on a symbol to go to definition. Now if at all you don't want to be navigated away from the file, you can also peek at the definition. So on enroll, right click and then peek definition, which is Alt and F12. It gives you a preview of the file where the symbol is defined with the symbol being highlighted. You can see that we have a preview of enrollment.service.ts and the enroll method is highlighted. And we can quickly take a preview or peek at the definition of enroll method. You can also find all references by right clicking and then selecting find all references. The shortcut is shift and F12. When I click on this, you can see that we get a list of all the files where the reference to the enroll method is present. So app.component.ts, which is what we are seeing right now, and enrollment.service.ts, where the actual method definition is present. So whenever you're modifying a method, you want to make sure you don't break the existing code. So this really comes in handy. With TypeScript, we also have the static time type checking, which is pretty useful. So for submitted, if I add type as a number, you can see that we get the red squiggly. And when I hover on that, it tells me what the error is. It's always nice to know any type errors as and when you're writing the code. All right, so those are some of the IntelliSense features in VS Code. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.